This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the piston guides, chemical injector, and easy start on any RXV series pump. These are the tools used in the video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and parts needed to service this pump. To replace the three discharge valves on the top of this pump, start by removing the unloader assembly cap with a 2.5mm Allen wrench. To remove the valve caps, use a 14mm socket. Next, using a pair of needle nose or valve pliers, remove the valves by grabbing the plastic valve cage while twisting and pulling straight out. Make sure to clean the thread sealer off the plugs and ports for your valves to prevent damage when reassembling it. Place in the new valves and make sure they are properly seated. Use something you have a firm grip on and won't damage the inside of your pump to seat them. Make sure the valves are set all the way down in the pump. Apply a thin layer of thread sealer all the way around the threads when reinstalling the valve caps. Make sure to torque the caps to 221 inch-pounds or 18 foot-pounds before the adhesive dries. To remove and replace the unloader, use a 19 millimeter wrench on it. To take out the unloader seat, take a 6mm bolt and screw it into the port. If you cannot pull it out by hand, use something to grab the screw and tap it out to unstick the o-ring. Always check and clean the threads of your pump for any thread sealant. When putting it back in, make sure the unloader seat is installed correctly. Its concave side should fit snug with the unloader. To put the seat back into the pump, screw it on the bolt and push it all the way back into the port and then unscrew it. When screwing the unloader back into place, add a drop of thread sealer, then you can hand tighten with your wrench. After that, the unloader cap can be put back on with the 2.5mm Allen wrench. To get to the Easy Start components, begin by removing the cap with a 14mm socket. You can turn the pump over and tap it to get out the ball and spring inside. Inspect them to make sure they are in working condition. Again, clean out the threads and ports from leftover thread sealant. If they're in good condition, the parts can be put back into the pump, starting with the spring going in first, followed by the ball. Add a small amount of thread sealant onto the cap and put it back on hand tight. Torque this cap to 80 inch pounds. To get at the chemical injector, 
Take off the cap using a 24 millimeter socket that is long enough to fit over the hose threads. To pull out the inside components, use a long bolt with 4 millimeter threads. Yet again, make sure to clean off the threads and ports of any thread sealant left on the machine. If you are not replacing the parts, make sure to inspect them to make sure the o-rings and parts are not worn down or damaged. The best way to put parts back in is to put them all together on the screw and to push them up into the port without allowing them to come apart. Once you've checked that the parts are properly seated, apply a thin layer of thread sealant on the threads and then hand tighten them. Torque it to 221 inch pounds for a proper seal. To access the piston guides and inlet valves, start by removing the three head bolts with a 6mm Allen socket. To get the head off of the pump, gently and evenly use a soft face hammer to tap it off. Once the manifold is off, there will be parts either on the pistons or still in the head of the machine. To remove parts off the pistons, twist and pull them off, but be very careful when taking off the small brown scrapers. It's very easy to break these. The last item to be taken off below that is the rear piston guides. To take out the front piston guides, use a pair of reverse pliers. Do not grip them below the first ridge on the guide. This will make the seals leak if the walls get damaged. Be careful not to crush the low pressure seal. If the seals below that can't be taken out by hand, use a small flathead screwdriver to pry them out without scratching the inside of the pump. The inlet valves are below all of the piston guides and seals. These can be removed the same way as the other valves with a pair of valve pliers. After inspecting or replacing, make sure they are all the way seated in the bottom of the head. The first item to go into the manifold will be the firm high pressure seals with its flat side showing. New seals are extremely tough to fit in. Make sure you work them in at an angle and to only use your hands. Next comes the front piston guide. This has several things that go into it before we put it back in. The first thing to go in it will be the soft, low pressure seals. The side with the small lip should be showing. The small brown scrapers will be the thing that fits into this little ridge. The last piece to go on top of that will be the rear piston guide with its flat side pushed up against the scraper and seal. If the guide is put in squarely, it should click into place. 
push the head on squarely, making sure that the body is on the right way too. Then you can torque the head bolts to 221 inch-pounds or 18 foot-pounds.